this thing sing? This is Project Katara. Named after the waterbender from the show Avatar, this prototype bike has a unique story behind it. Let's start from the beginning. In the summer of 2021, I started a company called Antimotos. I hired a team of Berkeley engineers, business experts, and fellow electric bike enthusiast and YouTuber, Saronster, to help design a completely original e-moto from the ground up. We rented an office space in Berkeley, California, and set to work on completing a prototype by the end of the summer. Our vision was to create a high-performance, low-cost electric motorcycle that could be used by the military and police. This would aid their efforts to modernize and electrify their fleets. We imagine this vehicle having several key features. Motorcycle acceleration, a lightweight and compact form factor, and the versatility to tackle any terrain. We started by looking at other motorcycles and e-bikes for inspiration, breaking up the vehicles into several key subsystems. The frame, suspension, powertrain, and electrical systems. We created a rough design of the frame using flat pieces of aluminum bolted together to make assembly as simple as possible. We developed a brand new suspension system. This could raise or lower the ride height of the vehicle by six inches on the fly. We called it ILAS, or Intelligent Load Adjustment System. We decided on a huge 50 kilowatt capable QS motor, a BAC 8000, and a 72 volt, 75 amp hour battery system to deliver absolutely insane power. <laughs> He's hauling right now. Holy oh shit. my God. Dude, that thing is moving. And we implemented a complex electrical system, complete with real-time telemetry data logging, electronic ABS braking, and an onboard police radio with sirens and flashers. This bike was gonna be the real deal. We began assembly and testing as fast as we could, and in the end, we created something really unique. I'd be lying if I said this thing doesn't scare me. It's way too fast for its own good and created some serious problems for itself. Damn it. <laughs> we threw a chain at high speed, almost had complete front suspension failure, and almost blew up the biggest lithium ion battery I've ever seen. All of these problems highlighted why electric motorcycle companies have hundreds of employees and millions of dollars for research and development. With a small team, limited funds, and an insanely crunched timeline, it would be almost impossible to compete. But at the end of the day, we ended up with a priceless experience, countless team memories, and an absolute death trap of a vehicle. In the future, we'll revisit Project Katara with an updated frame and powertrain. And hopefully, with enough support, you'll one day see our bike in the real world. Gods! You are. <laughs>